Well, uh, yeah, Nintendo isn't really the company that we all really loved. Um, I, a lot of us gamers, uh, I'm not going to say all gamers, because I doubt that, but a lot of gamers would have grown up or at least played Nintendo games before. Nintendo is one of the, the biggest factors of gaming ever. It, it's just, you can't, when you think of gaming, you probably think of game characters like Pikachu or Mario, and pretty much a majority of it will be Nintendo stuff. And then of course you'll have some out, uh, other ones, but most of it is probably Nintendo related characters. But recently, Nintendo hasn't really been making the best decisions as a company. So, what happened? Uh, to make everyone hate Nintendo now, is the whole Smash Brawls thing. So, uh, if you don't know, oh, not, not Brawl, but Melee, but if you don't know what Smash uh, Melee is, it's a one of the uh, Smash Bros. games. It's, I'm pretty sure it's the second one, but it's one of the, it's more popular than Ultimate. It's, pro, it's considered one of the best, well, one of the best, even the best um, Smash Bros. game. But it's uh, it's tournaments of the game still happen to this day, and well, you see, tour like in person tournaments can't really happen because well, there's a little thing called coronavirus. So what this certain tournament, it's an unofficial tournament, uh, decided to do was they decided to get emulators that supported like multiplayer versions of the game because uh, Smash Melee was made before online gaming really became a big thing so there was no online mode it was mainly just sp sp um like you would connect to two controllers but of course they can't do it in person so they got the emulator version which allowed them to do it and because of this nintendo filed a cease and desist which is pretty much a copyright thing and the tournament got shut down and everyone got pissed at them now legally Nintendo is actually allowed to do this. They are doing something with one of their products. So Nintendo are allowed to actually take action against the hosts of the tournament. But should they do it? No. Because this is a tournament, they of course... Like, if Nintendo really wanted uh, people to be happy and play Smash Melee online, what they could do is they could make a pour of Smash Melee with a somewhat multiplayer experience built into it, and then put it on the Switch. How easy that can... Well, I'm sure it might not be that easy, but I'm pretty sure Nintendo have actually done that with a few games before, so it's not out of the question. It's uh, one game I can think of, like, if we're thinking, like, old games that just got, like, multiplayer... I'm thinking of the original Battlefield 2, like the 2005 version, uh, that actually got updated on Steam to have multiplayer. So, the, it's not like games, like old games, can not be like added with new features and stuff now. But, it has been. It's really cool. And, if they really wanted people to be happy, they could just release an online Nintendo Switch version of Smash Melee. Instead, they decided to cease and desist, which, yes, legally they can do, but they shouldn't do. And a lot of people have gotten pissed because of that. And uh, in a recent Splatoon uh, tournament, uh, so if you know anything about the Nintendo community, any game, they will take care of, like, other communities. So, like, um, you know, like, all the communities, like, if you're part of the Splatoon community, you will help out the Smash community or the... I don't know, the Pokemon community. The communities of Nintendo help each other. And that's what actually happened at this um, Splatoon tournament. Uh, these communities decided to band together. Uh, well, uh, the Splatoon community decided to uh, band together. And most of the uh, names in the tournament were hashtag free melee. Which was the big hashtag going around for free this event because yeah you know they did some weird wacky bs so um pretty much 
the tournament was called off uh, because, yeah, so many people were <laughs> hashtag free melee. They didn't like it, and, yeah, now it's, like, BS about that as well. So, yeah, like, they can do, like, yeah, as I said before, legally, they can ban, well, they can uh, cease and desist the event for using, like, for pretty much using, like, exploits b via emulator. But should they? No, they shouldn't. But here's the big one. This is the one that really wanted me to make this video. Like, yes, I do disagree with the whole melee thing, but this one is just so much more disgusting. So, um, if, well, if you know anything about Etika, you'll know he passed away. Uh, I think 2019 or 2018. One of the two years he unfortunately passed, which is a big sad for YouTube. It's definitely uh, going to be documented. It's an event that people will remember. And so these people decided to uh, make Joy-Con covers, which are like, so they go over your Joy-Cons on your Switch controller and you can make them like more like cooler or more protected and these people decided to make a etika themed joy-con boys um uh like joy-con cover so that that's a really sweet thing to do and it, it's to remember etika of course because etika was a big nintendo fan he was one of the biggest nintendo fans ever um so yeah he um yeah, so these people made these uh, Etika themed Joy Cons, and uh, they decided. Uh, so Nintendo, of course, decided to cease and desist. Like, what the fuck? Yes, legally, they are allowed to cease and desist because this is. Um, they had the trademark Joy Con, which is trademarked by them. So yes, they are. But can't they just make an exception for this remembrance? Come on. Come the fuck on. This is... This is a remembrance for one of their most biggest fans ever. And they decided to just shut it all down. None of the money, by the way. All the money earned by that the Joy-Con covers was all going to mental health charities. And Nintendo decided to shut them down. How fucking cruel do they have to be? Yes, legally, they can do that. They have all permission to do that, legally. But morally, should they do it? No. Not at all. They should just... They should have just let, let it pass. This one thing slide. But instead, they decided to take it down. That's all I really have to say. Um, what are your opinions? I don't know. But yeah, I think Nintendo wasn't... They're doing some really shitty decisions right now. See ya.